Hello, I'm uh, Christophe Duquesne from Hacken Audio, and uh, this is the first tutorial video uh, of a series about Loris Synths, which is my brand new uh, analysis and resynthesis tool. Uh, so that, that's going to be a set of videos focusing uh, every uh, single feature you have from, from Loris Synths. W one thing I would like to mention is this work has been made possible thanks to previous work from uh, Kelly Fitz and Lippold Hacken, who did the Loris uh, library, and uh, so that's why this uh, synth uh, is uh, called Loris Sins. First of all, I, I would like to have a few points about what you can expect at, and what you can't expect from analysis and resynthesis. Uh, this is not a sampler. Uh, with a sampler, you take, for example, a piano sample, and then you expect your synthesizer to play it uh, exactly the same way to imitate that piano uh, sound and to be able to play the sound uh, of the piano with it. Uh, this is absolutely not what you are going to do with analysis and resynthesis. Analysis and resynthesis is taking a sample but then analyzing it, trying to extract all the information from it, and from that uh, analysis you drive 64 oscillators uh, and you have a full control of these oscillators but you can easily understand that driving 64 sine oscillators uh, uh, will not give you the exact sound you have at the beginning but it will give something which is sounds a little bit like it and on which you have a total control since it's a synthesis oscillator you can really control every single small detail with, within it so definitely it is not sampling as an example on the continuum, here is what you can get uh, as a sound manipulation. So you can hear that there were some voices used somewhere here, but that's really not the sound of the voice, that's a sound manipulation based uh, on, on, on this. So that, that's really not sampling, that's analysis and resynthesis. So you start from a sample uh, and with small windows you extract very small, uh, very short uh, set of information, of audio information, on which we will run uh, a Fourier transform, some mathematical stuff behind, uh, where you get all the fundamental and what we call all the harmonics, so all, all the frequencies building that sound. So you have a set of information across the time on that sample, and you can track all the evolutions of uh, the partials of the frequency building the, the, the sounds. Uh, this global information will be then be cut in 512 slices, and so each slice, slice can drive 64 oscillator, and you can move across the slices to replicate the evolution of the sound. Uh, but So that's how it's going to work each slice is going to drive 64 uh, oscillators. Uh, it's not simple oscillators, basically to sign oscillators, but with some noise added on it when necessary. This is a good way to limit the number of partials and the number of oscillators you, you, you need. Another thing is, it, it, one important feature uh, of Loris is that it has four months. Uh, the four months are kind of resonance resonances which are fixed, they don't move when you transpose or pitch shift the, 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 the sound. That's very important for voice, for example. And managing formants allows you to avoid the traditional, uh, what we call a chipmunk effect uh, on voices. I will demonstrate it uh, later. So this is basically what you need to know. This is not a sampler. This is analysis and uh, resynthesis. Uh, so you can see here the full screen of Loris with different area, the audio capture, the analysis uh, capture, the, the channel extraction to limit the number of partials, and then the test area. Uh, I will detail all these features in, in a future video. As, and uh, another thing which is very important in here, that it has a set of four overlays that you can use. So this is an overlay. This allows you to create your Egan matrix preset. You don't need to open the Hacken editor to manipulate and, and create your preset. Uh, this is all done with a rich but quite much simpler UI than you can have on the Egan matrix. Uh, so, so 
of course, you still can go to the again matrix editor, the hack editor, and and, and do your own preset. Uh, 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 but but that's a way here to do everything you basically need to manipulate your uh, your analysis. So and of course, you will be able to save your preset uh, either on files, either directly on the on the continuum. Uh, uh, so that's basically it. So next video will focus on s all the features one by one. Uh, of uh, Elderis since. Uh, so, see you in the uh, next video.